I just witnessed what looked like a rocket cross the sky. I just heard a loud boom okay. right outside my house. I heard something to kick the side of my house. Well, those were some clips from 911 calls made last night about a loud boom heard all across our area. Those calls were made in Florida. Ten people called 911 in Mobile County last night. Yeah, plenty of people heard it, but not many could figure out what caused it. It turns out the source was out of this world, a SpaceX capsule returning from the International Space Station. Yeah, it splashed down in the Gulf last night. Social media was buzzing with people wanting to know what shook their house last night. Soon videos of what some thought was a shooting star were being shared. Unless you were in the know, you just heard a boom just out of nowhere. And so I'm sure that was very jarring for people who don't necessarily know to expect it. What people heard and saw last night was the SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying four private astronauts returning to Earth. Three, two, one, engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. The Axe 2 crew launched on May 21st at the Kennedy Space Center and spent eight days at the International Space Station performing science experiments. It marks the second all private human spaceflight mission this year. In a matter of minutes, they have gone from 17,500 miles per hour, hour um, down to uh, roughly. Uh, now about 70 miles per hour. Former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who now works for Axiom, served as the Axe 2 commander. The Saudi government paid for two of its astronauts, and a Knoxville, Tennessee businessman, John Schaffner, paid his own way to the space station. The crew splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Panama City, Florida, last night. AX2 is back on Earth. Dr. Carlos Bontalvo, a University of South Alabama aerospace engineering professor, says when an aircraft travels past the speed of sound, it creates a shock wave. That's the boom you may have heard. Typically, when you're going that fast, say Mach 20, you get you get into a regime called hypersonic. So everything's like super hot, like everything's glowing red. You know, basically the structure turns into plasma, and that shock wave just reverberates through the air. Montalvo says seeing and hearing the capsule return may spark people's interest in the International Space Station and space exploration. We've got permanent presence around the Earth all the time. I think it's a really big deal. And I think hearing that boom is like, whoa, this is a real thing. This is actually happening. Whitson is now the first woman to command a private space flight. She's also spent 675 days in space, more than any other American astronaut or female astronaut in the world.